This video will introduce the idea of limits through some graphs and example when I work. I used to eat at Julia and salad preferred cost $10 per pound, but if you get exactly one pound your meal free, let y equal fx present the price of your lunch in dollars as a function of this weight x pound. All right, I want to write an equation to describe f of fx as piecewise defined function. It made sense to use the piecewise defined function because there are two situations. The word x could be exactly one pound or it could be different from one pound if the weight is exactly one pound. Then f of fx, the price is zero, but if fx is different from a pound, then the price is 10 times x as graph. My function is going to follow the line y equals 10 x, but when x is exactly one, my function is going to have value of zero and not 10. The open circle here represents a hole or place a place where a point is missing on the graph. Now, when is when x is near 1, but not equal to 1, then the f of x values that if the y values are very close to 10 in the language of limits. We say that the limits as x approaches 1 of f have x is equal to the tip more informally, we can write as x approaches on f of f x approaches 10. Note that the value of f at 1 is actually equal to 0, not 10, and so the limit of f of x as x goes to 1. And the value of f at 1 are not equal. This illustrates the important phase that the Limit here as x goes to 1 does not care about the value of f at 1. It only cares about the value of f when x is near 1. In general, for any function f over x and f real numbers and l, the limit as x goes to of f of fx equals l means that f of x gets r3. Close to L as x gets at pretty close to A, in other words, as x heads towards A, f of fx heads toward L. At, let me draw this as the picture. In this picture, I can say that the limit as x goes to of f of fx is L because by talking sufficient, sufficiently small interval round of x values I can guarantee that my values my of x values lie in arbitrarily small and in interval around L now the limit does not care about s value at exactly a so if I change the function if I can if I change this function's value at a or even leave the function undefined at a the limit is still l but the limit does occur about what happens for x values on both sides of a if for example the function didn't even exist for x values bigger than a then we could not longer say that the limit as x approached, I was out, the limit would not exist. In other words, the limit of, of fx is L only if the value, y values are approached now as x approaches from both the left and the right for the function g of graph blue, the limit as x goes to 2 of g of x does not exist because the y values approach 1 at the x values, approach 2 from the left, and the y values approach 3 at the x value approach 2 
from the right although the limit does not exist we can say that the left sided limit exists and we write this as a limit as x goes to 2 from the left of d of x is equal to when the superscript minus sign here means that x is going to 2 from the left side one in the other word we in other words the x values are less than 2 and approaches to similar talk about tri side limits in this example the limit as x goes to 2 from the right side of d of x is 3 and here the superscript plus side means that we are approaching 2 from the right side in other words our values are greater than and approaching to in general the limit as x goes to minus of f of x equal l means that f of x approaches l as x approaches from the left and the limit as x goes to a plus of f of x equals our mean that f of x approaches or as x approaches from the right limit from the left or from the right are also called one-sided limits in this last example let us look at the behavior of y equals h of x graph blue when x is near negative 2 as x approaches negative 2 from the right our values are getting artfully large large than than uh, any real number we might choose we can write this in turn uh, of limits by saying the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the right of h of x is equal to infinity as x approaches negative 2 from the left the y values are getting smaller in fact they go through any negative real number we might choose in terms of limits we can say that the limit as x is negative infinity in this example the limit of the limit of, of x as x goes to negative 2 not specifying from the left or the right means we have to approach negative 2 from both sides and so this limit does not exist because the limits from the left and the limit from the right are heading in opposite directions i want to mention that some people say that the limits from the right and the left form the left as do not exist because the function do not approach any infinite number i prefer uh, to say that these limits do not exist as a finite number, but they do exist as infinity and negative infinity.